Earlier this year, I had the delight of visiting the Monaco Yacht Show. If you're a yacht enthusiast like I am, it's a can't-miss event. Port Hercules was brimming with $4.5 billion worth of luxury yachts. Beautifully dressed people sipped champagne as they wandered from yacht to yacht, and exhibition to exhibition as their inhibitions got lower and lower. And though my memory of the weekend is a little, well, hazy, there was one moment that stood above the rest. One moment that had every guest talking, and after that, it had the tabloids talking as well. Today, we're going to talk about this $644 million hydrogen-powered yacht that was rumored to have been commissioned by none other than Bill Gates. We'll discuss its stats, how it works, and what exactly it has on board to be worth such a high price tag. We'll also take a look and see who may exactly have commissioned this impressive ship. The Aqua, as the ship has been dubbed may not be the largest yacht at 372 feet long. However, it is slated to be the only hydrogen-powered yacht in the world when it is finished in 2024. Senior Yacht Architecture and Design, the creative minds behind the Aqua, unveiled detailed plans for the yacht at the Monaco Yacht Show, and I can confidently say every single person there wished they were the ones buying this yacht. And sure, hydrogen power sounds cool, like some a superhero or supervillain would use to jet around Gotham, but it has other advantages as well. Hydrogen power is completely green, which is something most yachts are anything but. In 2019, it was estimated that all the super yachts in the world used over 32 million gallons of oil and produced 627 million pounds of carbon dioxide emissions. Hydrogen fuel cell power works by using a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to generate electricity. On the Aqua, this extremely pressurized hydrogen is stored in twin 28-ton vacuum-sealed tanks that are frozen to negative 423 degrees Fahrenheit, which is colder than the surface of Pluto. This fuel allows the ship to travel 3,750 nautical miles before it needs to be refueled. And unlike electric vehicles, refueling only takes minutes. And while all that green energy is interesting and got the audience excited. Actually seeing the beautiful ship was the moment where everyone was invested. I mean, have you ever seen a ship that looks like this? In Star Wars, maybe, but cruising through the Caribbean or docking in a fancy harbor? Well, not quite. The exterior of the ship was made to resemble ocean waves with its clean, curved lines and free-flowing form. And though the chrome-colored exterior does take away from the natural look of the boat, it does look pretty fantastic in the water. Perhaps the most incredible aspect of the ship that's instantly recognizable is the glass sitting area on the front of the bow. This area is part of the owner's pavilion, which takes up the front half of the top floor of the aqua. The owner's pavilion is an open concept private space for the owner of the yacht to unwind and flourish within. Several rooms interconnect in this space, all divided by wooden screens that allow for soft, diffused light. The entire yacht is designed with Japanese minimalism in mind, and that truly shines in the owner's pavilion. The main large room, which sports a skylight at the peak of its 12-foot ceilings, is a space intended to be filled with whatever the owner desires, be it fine art, musical instruments, or even stranger things. I mean, we know how billionaires are. Each side of the owner's pavilion is flanked with floor-to-ceiling windows that create a sense of endless openness when combined with the vastness of the sea. There are several sitting areas, desk areas, and cozy places to curl up with a cup of tea within the pavilion as well. Of course, this is also where you'll find the master bedroom. And when I said minimalist, I meant minimalist. The bathroom features warm wood accents, a fluffy king-sized bed, and, well, not much else. After all, quantity does not equal luxury, quality does. And my, is this room quality. Attached to the bedroom, you'll find the only owner's bathroom. Sleek, stark black marble floors coat the floor, surrounding the jacuzzi tub in the center of the room. It creates beautiful symmetry. The his and hers sink flank the tub on either side, backlit by soft mood lighting and lateral wood walls. But on this yacht, the owner does not have to worry about their guests feeling less than. There are four guest staterooms and two VIP
VIP rooms, which can accommodate 14 people. The VIP state rooms feature the same warm, beachy, minimalist design, with an open seating area and king-sized beds. The Zen design shines in the attached bathroom, where rings in the marble countertop are reminiscent of those carefully drawn in Japanese sand gardens. All of the guest accommodations have attached bathrooms and their own private decks. Even more interesting, each floor has a large, circular lounge area in the center with views of the water, providing an ideal place for guests to gather after a long day of taking in all the ship has to offer. On the main deck, you'll find a pool that looks more like an art installation than a place to dip your toes in. The waterfall feature is pleasing to the eye and is surrounded by plenty of places to tan and relax. Further along the deck, there is another lounge area which has a retractable glass wall to allow that beautiful ocean air to flow freely. To reach the lower levels, there's a marvelous grand staircase. The curved stairs are beautifully backlit, and at the bottom, there's a glass panel revealing the hydrogen tanks below, so the guests can truly relax. There is a state-of-the-art spa on the ship. Throughout all the rooms, there are sleek, circular designs that evoke a sense of serenity. The Hydro Massage Room gives guests a place to receive deep tissue massages underneath multiple rainfall showers, while the jacuzzi sports a single waterfall feature which is sure to relax and intrigue. Also attached to the spa is a full gym, which has state-of-the-art equipment for guests to use while they watch the sun set over distant waves. However, if some of the guests are more work-it than work-out type of people, there is a beauty salon on the ship where they can get all dolled up. The design of the beauty salon aims to create a healing environment for anyone who enters it with wood lattice walls, views of the water, and sleek black ceilings which reflect the studio lights. The Aqua also has several other vehicles on board. A personalized Aqua helicopter sits on the helipad, giving guests a quick and easy way to get aboard the yacht. There are also two tenders to take guests on day trips three wave runners for fun in the sun, and a fleet of water toys, including kayaks and floats. The Aqua is a pretty impressive yacht, but who is its owner? Well, early reports claimed that Bill Gates was the lucky buyer, but both Signo has outright denied that claim. They reported on their website that there actually is no buyer for the boat. It is a concept that they're creating to sell. That being said, there's always a reason to rhyme about rumors, and it's only a matter of time before some billion Billionaire scoops up this yacht, and I must say, I'm a bit tempted to reach for my wallet. So, there you have it, the $644 million hydrogen-powered super yacht. What do you think? Is Bill Gates really the secret owner of the yacht? And do you think hydrogen power is the future of yachting? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip to doodly-doo.